years of preparations since Beijing, and these athletes now must be ready. Any injuries, any doubts must be shoved clear from their mind. Quite a field as well, some very, very strong competitors. First end, arrow number one. No. So close to a ten. That's a nine. End one, arrow two. The outer yellow circle, that's nine points. Can the athlete finish end one on a high? That's eight points for the inner red. Let's take a look at that replay. As expected, Russia have made a strong start to this event. Next up, Hector representing Russia. End two, first arrow. In the red zone with the first shot. This is the fifth arrow. In the red, not bad. Two gone, one arrow to go. The inner red, eight points. Here's the replay. Confirming this so tight at the top of that leaderboard. Next up, Hector representing Russia. Pressure starting to mount in end number three. This is the first arrow. Six points. Arrow two and three. The outer red, that's seven points. Third arrow must finish this end strongly. It's a golden arrow, ten points. Here is the replay. Well, the scoreboard's looking good here. Second place after that round. This is the first arrow of the final end. Eight points. Two arrows to go. That's the maximum. Ten points. Arrow number three and four. Eight more to the total. Well, let's have a look at the replay.
Well, that's a really strong performance. A small glimpse of the potential of this athlete. It's always Michael well, of crickets for the most part, but for the two weeks of the Olympics, this is the chance for the archers to take center stage in front of the magnificent old pavilion. At the Athens 2004 Games, archers competed at the Panathinaikos Stadium where the first modern Olympics took place in 1896. This athlete's in the shape of their lives and there's no reason why they can't go on to win a medal here. End number one, the first arrow. The outer red circle, seven points. Well, consistency is going to be the key to success for this athlete. That arrow's worth nine. This is the third arrow. Right on target, ten points. Let's check on the replay. It doesn't matter which country you want to win the gold medal in this event, you've got to respect the start that athletes made to this competition. Next up, Hector representing Russia. End two, arrow one. Well, that's solid. A solid first arrow in this second end. This is arrow number two of the second end. Great nine. shot for nine. This is the final arrow before the midway point in this competition. Eight. Just outside the yellow. That's worth eight. Here's the replay. Let's have a look at the scoreboard after that round, and it makes good reading. First place. This really is an important arrow. It's the first of end number three. And you can add seven to the total for that. There'll only be four arrows remaining in the competition after this. End three, arrow number two. Bang on, ten. The athlete's looking for a yellow finish to end number three. Well, that arrow's worth ten. Russia with a score of 27. Here's the replay. Well, let's take a check on the scoreboard, and there's good news, lying in first place. Next, the athlete from Russia. This is the first arrow of the final round. Eight. You can add eight for that. This is the penultimate arrow in this event. That's a 10. 
This is the final arrow. Nine right. points. Russia, Good shot. Four, Here's the replay. The emotion evident at this point. Sheer delight. But also, there might be a few tears down there as a new Olympic champion is crowned. Another Olympics and another Russian hero. This athlete takes home gold. A podium finish for Great Britain as this athlete takes home a silver medal. And Italy finished with bronze. Well, after such a terrific competition, it's now time to reap the rewards as the medals will be dished out. Put in. I'm sure they enjoyed their moment in the spotlight as well. Been a terrific day and some great performances. Thoroughly enjoyable.